Hello, everybody. Happy Sunday. Welcome we're back here. to Fan Girls Assemble. <laughs> we're doing it. We're here. We're talking about Moon Knight because that is coming up soon That's on right. Disney Plus. And, you know, I love Oscar Isaacs. And who doesn't, really? Who doesn't? What right? a man. Yeah. As an actor and as a person, you know, Absolutely. He just, yeah. He's a good man. Mm -hmm. Um, or at least as far as I know right now, because you never right, know. Right, right. <laughs> and we were like, hey, we know nothing about Moon Knight, so we're going to read Jeff Lemire's Moon Knight. Uh, this came out in 2016. Uh, it's 14 issues, his run, uh, which you can read on, comics, or on, on Marvel Unlimited. just took me a bit. <laughs> and the collected, edition, the collected edition is like out of print, right? Out of stock. So yeah, I have the deluxe hardcover. It's out of print, but they recently came out with a complete collection, which is a trade, um, which I don't know if you can still get it at our great sponsor, InStockTrades.com, but you should check it out and check out their deals on the front page. They have books up to 50% off, sometimes even more on that front page. Check out the deals. Great shipping, great packaging, the stuff you love. But the mm -hmm. best deals, especially. So check them out there. Again, don't know if it's still around. Um, it just recently came out, so they'll probably restock it eventually. Yeah, and like at least you know, whenever time there's like a show that comes out, they're just like, here's all the things. Like, yeah. Right. <laughs> Thanks, exactly. You. Um. So yeah. So let's get into it. Um. First of all, I hope that there's some of you that have also read, uh, Moon Knight in other capacities because. Uh, neither of us have read any Moon Knight before reading this collection. Um, and so I'm not sure about anything. <laughs> yep. And after reading this, I am still not sure <laughs> about anything. I think I'm even more not sure about anything. Um, in fact, it's <laughs> funny. I feel like since we said we were going to read this, I've heard... Um, at least one or two people on other channels be like, this is not a great entry point for Moon Knight. And I was like, oh, <laughs> well, which is interesting, right? Because it does start with, like, it is its own contained thing. So it is issue one to 14. So it's not yeah. like, but, um, but yeah, I feel like maybe some previous knowledge would have helped us a little bit, you know? Probably. Probably. <laughs> like, and that's I why like I asked you to come on over to your reader later this month. To read another Moon Knight because I was like, I think I'm gonna need something. Yeah. Do you know what you're reading yet? No, one? that's why okay. I was hoping somebody in the chat would tell us, and then I would just write it down. Yeah. Well, <laughs> anyone listening, if you've read other Moon Knight, let us know. <laughs> what should we have read before this? Maybe we'll read that. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, people who haven't read this one, um, this is very interesting, and it kind of reminds me of Legion, um, the the X Men character, or like also the the show. Because uh, we're introduced to Mark, and he's in a mental hospital. And that is a trope that we've seen in comic books or other shows where, like, you don't remember who you are, you're in a mental hospital, you have to remember, or they think, you know, they've, they've got into your head to make you think that, like, the life you had wasn't real, or whatever. So that's why, I, that was my basis of understanding. I was like, okay. Right. This is all real. They're just getting at him. There was even a great Buffy episode that was like that. Yes, and I, I love, love that, that trope. Yeah. And so <laughs> he has these like memories of being Moon Knight, sort of. Uh, but the orderlies are like, no, that's Moon Knight is a real guy. That's just not you. You've been in this mental like, facility since you were 12. You know, you just have these illusions of grandeur. This is not you. But later we find out that like, yes, these like, it's, it's being run by these Egyptian gods and servants <laughs> <laughs> and uh all of like mark's aka moon knight's people were kind of taken there with him so like his the woman he's in love with the woman who runs a diner his uh french friend and this older gentleman uh and he works to kind of get them all out with the help of his like god that he's co is it Koshu? I already forgot what it was. Um, was there a G involved, maybe? Oh, man. <laughs> I'm like, maybe what I, I can find it. But, but yeah, Moon Knight, a.k.a. Mark, has like a god that bestowed upon him abilities. Or, and I don't know what those abilities are still, but I know that he can see things. Like, he can kind of like see the unseen. And the god is more of like a 
kind of an alien deal, but not really, because he's stuck in a prism inside of another space. This sounds very complicated, you guys, but I promise. <laughs> when you're reading it, it, it is. is. It is as complicated. Also, it feels less complicated. It's a very yeah, weird way. And I think a lot of that's because of the art as well. I think the art was really incredible. I think the coloring yeah. um, by Jordi Belair. Um, let me highlight you. There's some of that. Um, I thought, the, I mean, that's that part is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Like throughout the whole way. Um, really enjoyed that because it gave me, um, it kind of gave me a Mitch Jared's kind of feel in DC who did like uh, Mr. Miracle, that kind of like scratchy art. Uh, and Jordy Belair really killed it with the colors, at least when they you know uh, yeah. Smallwood was on there. Um, but yeah, it, it was just weird, like, oh man, uh, not timey wimey thing, but like, like fourth wall breaking, and it was like multiple identities, but felt like multiple timelines, but it wasn't. And so it's very confusing because we learn uh, at some point that Mark has DID and he always has. And so that means um, he has dissociative identity disorder. So he has different identities living in his head. Um, and unlike typical people with DID, he's like, he will see them in front of them, kind of like um, A Beautiful Mind. I think that movie had something like that where he had schizophrenia and would see people. Um, and there's this whole arc where he he can't ground himself. And he's just going from like different kind of story to story of these different personalities in his head. And one is like just Moon Knight. One is Steven, who's like a someone that came into his head when he was younger, who's going to be a movie star. And like it's this, uh, his girlfriend would call, would call him his like alter ego. So he must have like been that person in a previous comic or something. And then... Uh, the taxi driver guy. Yeah. Well, uh, time. Yeah. And then the short lived, which I think he came up with as a kid, the mark that like uh, flies a spaceship. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Very confusing. <laughs> yeah. It's, it feels uh, difficult to talk about because when even like following it, which I think was partially um, on purpose. Yeah. Because it's like dealing with what he deals with in his head. Oh, right. Yeah. So it feels chaotic. And you're like, is this real? Is this not real? Something that he's probably also always questioning. Right. Mm -hmm. So you were there with him questioning it the entire time. Uh, and you did get some answers toward the end. Yeah. I feel well, like. even harder, too. Right. Because like the whole time he's questioning himself and his God in his head is like, no, you have to believe in you. Yeah. This is the truth. Follow my voice. You've got to believe. You've got to have faith. And then that guy wicked betrays him. He's like, no, I was ruining your mind on purpose. Yeah. Yeah. So I could take your body. Which makes it harder because you're like, you, you know, just when you think you know what's going on, they throw that in, they throw yeah. some other stuff in. And it's like, okay, at this point, I I think I know what happened, but do I still know what happened? <laughs> like it's one of those, which is yeah. probably what he feels looking back on the entire time. Yeah. I mean, it's very cool. And I liked it. Mm-hmm. But I'm confused. And again, yeah. and maybe some people in the chat can help me. Does Moon Knight have an ability? Does he have a power? That's a good question. Like, I'm trying to figure out what, what I'm supposed to be expecting from the show and other comic books. Because I'm trying to piece it together. Because all I saw is at one point he did throw like a, a, a crescent moon, a la Sailor Moon, at someone. And he punches good. <laughs> Ellie. <laughs> hey, Jeffy. Because, <laughs> like, this is a very interesting, like, solo story, which, man, Jeff is great at. And I'm glad that he did it. And now I'm trying to picture this guy in, like, a wider context. So, in a way, I it would have helped to read other things, but actually it's kind of cool to go into this blind. <laughs> I kind of agree. And, you know, from what I gather, the show will be based a lot on, like, we'll have this Mr. Knight character in it. Yeah. So we at least have some of that knowledge going into the show. And I think they'll do a good job, at least, of recapping some stuff that maybe we didn't understand, you know? Conchu. Okay, but Roberto, okay. What is the power, <laughs> though? That's what I'm confused about, because I know that Conchu gave him 
powers and i know that he can see things that are like unseen right so like be, being able to see these egyptian gods like anubis and um, you know um, um, anyways but like what are the other abilities because all we seem to do is punch things and throw that thing once so I, i'm just curious and this is me complete ignorance because i've only read this one moon knight book right yeah we're just like mm. and i'm gonna read more because i want to be prepared when the show comes out so i can like look for things you know but what, what does he do which also reading this would be like you know i was like i think this will make a really cool tv show oh absolutely you know? okay absolutely. my dad my dad answered because i asked him i was like hey does he have a power because my dad is a big moon eye fan thanks kristen's dad um okay so he, he says early on he did his strength would increase during a full moon or something it was sort of re, re reconned early on okay that doesn't help us then uh, oh. so basically no okay <laughs> that's just what my dad <laughs> which my dad uh, has not read like the modern runs he's read the original stuff okay uh elliot said people were making a big deal that he is jewish in the comic but he will not be in the show did the fact that he was jewish come up a lot in the comic actually yeah it did yeah not in like a like it, it just when they showed him as a kid he had his like yarmulke on and he talked about like yeah like his dad brought him to the rabbi or his dad was the rabbi yeah yeah um, so that is brought up so i can see if people be upset because there's not i mean like I, I don't know about other like marvel jewish character because i always i always think about like batwoman yeah um that's interesting that i wonder why they made that decision i don't know uh my dad also threw in that he's basically batman but with more of a wolverine vibe and he is kind of nuts at times <laughs> look i'm like got that part got it. <laughs> yeah that, yeah that one they drove that one home yeah, we, we know that <laughs> so now i'm trying to make sure like a group like if he comes to help are you just is that helpful because also He's very easy to see in the nighttime. Yeah. You're like, oh, I'm, not, I'm out of focus. Whatever. Like, you can see him coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could definitely see him coming. The actor playing him is part Jewish. Oh, is Oscar Isaac? Um, oh, the showrunner was being really crummy about it, doing it too, like, unapologetic. Oh, hmm, that's kind of a bummer. Uh, I tried reading Moon Knight and decided to walk away. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> I'm gonna try one. More, I'm gonna try one more time before the show comes out. Uh, maybe reading something like super modern. He used Jewish grandparents. I believe. Okay. I mean, I do love Oscar Isaacs. He is great. He is great. Um, but man, even though I was confused, I loved the parts where he was going from personality to personality in different situations because the art was so cool. The art teams were so cool. My favorite art, I wish I, I wish it said when it switched right away who was doing what, because I didn't know. Yeah. Um, but the the parts with the spaceships. Yeah, I was gonna say I really like spaceships too. I am in love with it. I don't know who that taxi artist is. Taxi stuff too. This was like the taxi stuff. I really like the that's, colors. Oh, um, uh, that's a that's it's like Francisco something. That guy. I'm pretty sure that's who the artist is. Yeah, and then here's the it, this one is so cool. Yeah, just highlighting I agree. instead of just pointing. Uh, the <laughs> line work, the color. Who is that? I feel like I've seen this artist before. Because um, I I want to read all of their stuff. I'm in love with that art. Let me check the the front because it'll say somewhere. Yeah. And that that was fun because I was like, oh, at, at the end of it, I was like, okay, I want to like follow this person. It's very neat. And I think, you know, if they put that into the show, it'll be really interesting because, you know, he's going through these different um, realities for himself, different personalities, and they're very fluid because he kind of goes in, in from one to another very quickly. And he's like, wait a second, where was I? I was just on a spaceship. Why am I here? And then the people around that, per like, reality are kind of breaking that for him as well. Oh, um, Cal -El said, uh, James. Okay. Uh, Stoko, I'm, I'm not sure. This is yeah, Stoko, I believe. Um, yeah, I just found that, and I was like, I think that was him. Yeah, I like it's it. A Canadian comic artist. He's done a lot um, of stuff. Oh, a lot of Godzilla. Yeah, that's where I thought I. Oh, Superman, red and blue. He, he was on 
black men, uh, black, uh, Batman, black and white. Um, and we should read some of this stuff because it's pretty. It's like really pretty. Uh, it is Orphan in the Five Bs, which apparently is a Kung Fu epic. That's cool. Um, I don't see any sense in making the character Jewish if it doesn't add to the story of the show. Plus, a Jewish character making a deal with the Egyptian god sounds extremely suspect. Yeah, I can understand that. I mean, I understand if, like, it, if, but also, like, if it meant something, someone's representation and, like, attachment to the character, I can also stand that, like, for them, that'd be hard if it didn't pay homage to that. So, I like, I understand both ways. Yeah. Because sometimes there's an aspect of someone's character that doesn't really it's not really needed and but I, I don't have any attachment to the character either and i haven't read any other so i don't know like how prevalent it was in previous books either um there wasn't much in here uh doing T tom king's human target okay yeah i'm into this guy i'm yeah, gonna seek him out because i would like to even have some of his art on my walls i just there's something so awesome about it uh, he did Aliens Dead Orbit for Dark Horse, which is just beautiful. As like an Aliens comic. I bet that'd be fun. He gives me a Chris Schweitzer vibe. Yeah, I can see that. Um, I don't know what I was talking about. Yeah, we, we just... Am I a Moon Knight? Was I somewhere else and then came back? <laughs> yes. Yes, you were at the diner. There was sand involved. Stuff was going down. Could be. <laughs> Could be. Who knows? I don't. I feel Very the same confusing. way. So I will say, I texted my dad again and I said, hey, how um, prevalent was the fact that he was Jewish and what you've read? Because he's read the original stuff. Yeah. Said, Not much at all. Okay. But it's like, you know, how much can you show background history and you just show the character when he was young and his dad and whatever how much can that really yeah. write in well and also like it's it was a hard topic conversation too because it's like if you make it too much mm -hmm. you yeah. know people are like oh well this wasn't about and sometimes there's like well it wasn't nice to have the character be a thing and you don't have to make it right that's what i'm saying like everything you know, there's it's part of his past and yeah it probably really mattered to his character oh, development duh. thank you why did i not remember that roberto duh of course the thing and kitty pride mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yes absolutely although we'll never forget kitty pride <laughs> trying to equate <laughs> the stuff she w went through to things black people went through they, then they didn't god men got oh my god i can't talk today you guys i'm so sorry i've been slurring all of my words I'm not drunk. I've had water and apples. <laughs> I don't know what's happened to me. But yeah, I really like this though. And I want to read more. Yeah, I feel the same. But I'm also enjoying, because I don't know anything, having read this. All I can be like is like, what does this guy do? And I think that's a fun <laughs> place to be right now. Because right now I'm like, this guy is just a dude. And so I'm, I'm interested. I feel the same. It is interesting that like, we can both read 14 issues of this thing feel similarly confused and like we need more information, but still have enjoyed it because I did. Yeah. yeah. You know, I think that says something to uh, Lemire's writing, right? Cause Absolutely. you were still interested and it was a breezy read. I felt like it went by really fast. It was very it easy. Once to it read. was done. Like, yeah. Cause I was like, Oh, it's 14 issues. I need to give myself enough time. And I was done. It was the next artist. I was like, wait, <laughs> Really? Because I didn't feel like I was... I wasn't ready for it to be done. Right. But also, I'd make sure I didn't read ahead because that would have messed with me talking about this. I hope they do something with this. I hope it's a crazy, like, jumping through things. Oh, I think I think it'll be similar to something we've read because I think... Uh, I keep hearing that this sort of Mr. Knight character is the basis for the show. I, so, I want that. That'll be fun. That'll be really fun. I, I want to cross over between him and Legion. Have you, did you, have you watched, I haven't read Legion, but I've watched Legion. No, I haven't. Oh man. I would love for you to watch it because that's one of the few like Sony X-Men properties or whatever. That's very, very good. And it's about like that. He's, 
I think I think he's Xavier's son. I'm sorry, guys. Someone's in the chat's like, why don't you know the? I don't know. <laughs> I just know that he's got a ton of different personalities in his head and he has powers for all of them. So he's like a mega level mutant. Yeah. And he also starts out in a a, a, me- a mental hospital and Aubrey Plaza's there. Yeah, I've seen and some. It is very good. I mean, the first I mean, season at least. I don't know how the rest go, but the first season was very good. What is that on? Um, I had no idea. It was FX, so... Okay. I don't know what's on now. Yeah, I somehow missed it. I think it wasn't on something okay, I had. Okay, good. I was, <laughs> yeah, I was just going to say, I, I've read a little bit of it, and that's accurate. Yeah, I've read it. Jewish as well. Time. You know, Roberto, you're killing there you it go. today. I appreciate you and your knowledge. Please come back when we read other things, because I'm going to need that. Uh, if you don't have a problem with Warren Ellis, we do. You should yeah. read Moon Knight Run. It's six issues followed by Brian Wood. And, ooh, Brian Wood. There's a there's two U's and then Cullen Bunn, which we Cullen like. Bunn. So can we skip to Cullen Bunn? <laughs> I love Cullen Bunn. Um, I would read it without paying for it, and then I would never talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even sure I would do that, honestly. But uh, that would be it. Um, but Cullen Bunn, let's read Cullen Bunn. <laughs> yeah, we can. Can we skip to Cullen Bunn? Is that fine? Lee uh, Hulu. Okay, thank you, yeah. James. Yeah, if you guys have a non those people. I'll, I'll read it. I yeah, I loved Legion because it wasn't. It was so different. And plus, you've got like the time period because like what sixties or seventies or something. And so you've got all these like X Men adjacent things. They kind of talk about it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you've got the guy from um, Fly the Concords in it. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, you would. It's so funny. And Aubrey Plaza is like weirdly, even though she's like a she's like a weird villain or whatever. Uh, she's so hot. <laughs> I don't know how to describe maybe because she's evil. I don't know what it is. It's like, she's really unhinged. I'm like, oh, wow. You're so cool. <laughs> I didn't like the last Legion. Yeah, and I, I haven't seen the last season. I think because I heard maybe it wouldn't be good. Uh, Mr. Nice debut is analysis run, I think. Okay. Um, I'll watch Comic Story and tell me about it. <laughs> That's a good idea. Um, man, I do love Comic Story, though. That's a guy I'd love to hang out with and be like, Thank you for <laughs> making videos about comics I don't have access to sometimes. It's really helpful. But is there like a, a, a more within the past few years Moon Knight run that's really good? Because I'd love to check it out. Uh, yeah, Aubrey Plaza, the actress who plays girl from her very hot. Oh, great. <laughs> I feel like Aubrey Plaza is enough to sell me. Trust <laughs> me, you guys. There's, she's so scary. <laughs> I just... I really like that. I don't know what that says about me as a person. <laughs> Is that only two seasons? Um, I think maybe was it was three, a few? and then okay. like, the last one was bad. Okay, got you. Okay. Um, but yeah, so it's not are... like it's not like one good season and then it gets bad. No. Um, and honestly, I w- I felt even though I only watched the first season, I felt pretty good with what I'd seen. So good deal. Three seasons. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Ah, oh, man. And now you have a real schedule. I wish we had another show. We just watched things and talked about it, too. I mean, watch my, comic book shows. my channel is just sitting there. It's ready for something. I'm just saying. We yeah. can do it. <laughs> we just watch, go through and watch comic book shows and talk about it. We can watch Birds of Prey. The yeah. very short-lived one season show that I do have on DVD. Um. Apparently, it's funnier if you watch it slightly speeded up because it feels it feels more like a Gilmore Girls show. Oh, interesting. They talk quickly. If you right. watch a regular speed, it's not as interesting. But if you watch it slightly sped up, very interesting. That's fun. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, if we could watch just like maybe not watch Smallville, but watch like a s- synopsis. <laughs> I mean, I watched. Some I like. I like small. Yeah, yeah, I, watched a lot I like of it. some of it. Yeah. I would I would rewatch that now and see how I feel, you know, see how things date. Uh, did you guys watch Peacemaker? No, I'm I'm going to I've canceled my HBO subscription just for right now. Um, okay. I'm gonna come back to it later and then watch it all because everyone everyone's talked about it and I thought, but I would never watch this show because I didn't like that character and the Suicide Squad. I liked the Suicide Squad. And I was like this. I was like really this, but I've heard it's amazing. So, I'm going to. <laughs> I 
here for a minute. Comics on YouTube show about to go live today. Maybe out too. If I've heard anything about it. Uh, that's funny because I'm I it did briefly mention that yesterday. Um, I'm just texting my dad. My dad was like, "You want to do a show?" And I'm like, "What do you want to <gasps> do? Are you gonna do a show with your dad?" Yeah, which is fine, but I'm like, "What are we doing?" I have to know. So yeah, I don't know. If you want to check that out, 2 p.m. I think we'll be on. I don't know. I haven't heard confirmation yet. So uh, link check in the out. description. To yeah. The uh, oh God, BOP. <laughs> what about that terrible Wonder Woman TV pilot? Oh man. That would also be fun. All that, all that stuff was. Uh, where is that stuff now? Is it just on HBO Max? Because like it used to all be on DC Universe. You could watch all these like D- like DC shorts that were really good, and these random one off pilots. So they have the pilot for the Aquaman show. Uh, it has the guy who he played Aquaman in Smallville, and now he's in This Is Us. He's like the blonde twin or blonde triplet or whatever. Okay, but he was Aquaman. <laughs> Uh, you can watch Peacemaker, Euphoria, and Raised by Wolves right now on HBO Max. I, yeah, I'm, I'm holding off until next month because uh, I'm watching stuff on Apple Plus right now. I try to like balance subscriptions and be a little more responsible. But I love Raised by Wolves. Uh, just picked up Birds of Prey live action series DVD for the bonus webtoons. Sadly, the set is only worth shipping. <laughs> Sad. We found it at a half price books for like eight dollars because they're like we have to. We have to have makes, sense. makes sense. Yeah. How has it only been 30 minutes? I feel like we've been talking forever. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's just that, you know, we were even saying beforehand, we were both so at the same level of confusion and feeling like we can only say so much about this. Yeah. That I knew we would get to this point. <laughs> yeah, because I'm hella confused. I mean, I'm not, but I am. Like, yeah. I am. I don't know how to describe that, right? Because it's just like, I followed it, I understand, but it's still the end of it. I'm like, I don't really know what happened, but I, but I know, but I can't yeah. tell you. Yeah, exactly. Um, I will say, my dad just texted me back. We are doing a show. It's 2 p.m. Central, so that's 3 p.m. Eastern. Check out the Comic Slayer on YouTube channel. I guess we're going to talk about something. I don't know what yet. We'll see. Ask him more about Moon Knight. <laughs> you know, I may. <laughs> Uh, Ted Lasso is awesome on Apple Plus. I just finished it. Oh man, Kristen. I know I have to, I have to get it, and it's just one of those triggers I haven't pulled for the actual subscription. Maybe yeah, I should yeah. do what you're doing. I canceled HBO Max, so maybe I'll throw that in. Yeah, I'm trying to be more fiscally responsible a little bit, so I'm trying to like go on and off. Mm-hmm. Oh, here, yes, thank you, Jed McKay. Okay, we'll write that down. Let's write it down. I'll write that down for old reader, new reader. I'll put it on my Outlook calendar. Thank you very much. I assume that's on Marvel Limited. Uh, I am entirely smooth brand about <laughs> Uh, it's a good run and new reader friendly. Perfect. Cool. That's what we Great. need. Maybe we'll look like Luke Jeskin or something that day. Oh, that would uh, be fun. Because I would have loved to hear her talk about this. Yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> uh, not the most recent, but Devs was a great show by Alex Garland. And that's, I think I watched the first like five episodes on Hulu. Sorry, Mrs. was reading trashy vampire romance. You do not have to apologize. No, never. <laughs> um, yeah, this is another one. You said you would have liked to hear Jessica's thoughts. Also, Lee's thoughts. Oh, you, man. You would if have an Lee analysis here, of everything. He would have talked about the whole thing. Yes. It would yeah. be great. Yep. I think the next time we're confused about something or like we're like, this is going to take us 20 minutes, maybe we'll just throw Lee in so he can tell us what we missed. <laughs> yeah. Where are we at the Twitch channel? It is, it'll be ready after the wedding. So after this month, because that's all I have time to do. <laughs> Understandable. Um, and I think I'll just stream some horror games. I think. That's fun. So 
Um, some uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. I really want to. I know that guy's shitty. But I'm not. I don't know how to. I don't know how to justify it. But I want to well, play it. Those games are put together by more than that guy. Yeah, that's true. So you know, look, okay. you can look at it from that. It's kind of like us still. I, I only want to play the new one. Right. So. It's it's kind of like us still loving Buffy, right? It's like Joss yeah. created it, but yeah. so many people went into each and every episode that were not him and that were victimized by him, right? So yeah. still support them. But yeah, so I'll play Freddy's. Yeah. <laughs> I'll play Freddy's and then uh probably some I'm gonna play some Silent Hill or something live. Just so I can lore dump about the whole time. I would love to hear that. Have my Robbie the Rabbit plushie with me, because I do have one. And just I, I know nothing about that whole franchise, so it'd be fun to watch. You just tell me everything. The cat lady, what's that? I don't know, but do I need it? Oh, it looks spooky. Why did I say it like that? I don't know. Spooky. I'm like maybe I don't need it. Are there like uh, dead cats involved? Uh, I don't want to deal with that. I'll consider it. <laughs> I love scary games, but I get really scared. Mm. So I'll throw in some like weird games in the middle of that that no one cares about but me. That's I think like because I want to do Twitch, but I also just want to do stuff that I like. Yeah, because I know some people are like oh I want to you know stream things that people want to watch or whatever. But like, and that's what like Nearman is. So, like it, I really enjoy doing it, but it's I do have to think sometimes. Okay, what would be something that people would like? Mm -hmm. um, and that can make it easier to burn out. And so Twitch, I just want to do for fun and just play dumb things that I want to play. Like old PlayStation 1 games. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Yeah. Someone out there will care about that content. I want to play Tomba, which is my favorite platformer. And you're a pink-haired caveman boy who's, you gotta fight evil pigs because they stole your grandpa's bracelet. <laughs> and I love those games so much. Um, I just love this whole concept. Yeah, it's so good. Your best friend is Charles. He's a monkey that gives you a parasol. Aww, aww, aww. <laughs> and these old men give you their like give you keys and belts to get you through the game, and you have to catch the evil pigs in the evil pig bag. <laughs> it's my favorite. That sounds amazing. Ooh, man, I only played a little bit of Parasite Eve, so I would I'd be down to play that. Because I love any Squaresoft game. So that would be cool. Or I'll just play some bad dating sims. Also would be fun. You have to. That Babs Tar one's coming out, so. Oh. Play that one. That's I fun. <laughs> Man, I wish you were here. Stop living not here so you can hang out. And we can play It Takes Two together. I would love what it. What would that be? I would love it. You Although every time it. you say it, I just think of the Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen movie that I love so dearly. <laughs> that too. <laughs> what if we just find some like old uh, Mary Kate and Ashley games and we just plug that up? Or, like some bar old Barbie games? Please. Cool. Yeah, I think there were a few of those like Mary Kate and Ashley go to the mall and like things yeah. like that. And I'm like, Absolutely. yes. Absolutely. Let's go to the mall. <laughs> <laughs> Or just find, like, um, we find all the bad comic book games and try to play them. Yes. Now, that would be really fun. I love that. I think that. that would be really fun. I would watch it. For sure. I would absolutely watch that. I had a, a PC game. I don't know if it was a game or if we just made the comics or something, but, like, it was for the, like, 90s Spider-Man animated series. And uh, you could take pictures from the thing and make little, like, comics like uh maybe the emotion comics too i don't know but there's this whole like software to do that it was really cool that's fun Ooh, we could also like play a lot of those old board games that i feel like we both played like um what was it mall madness oh my god i love mall madness yes. if anyone can get me a copy not of the new mall madness the old mall madness please <laughs> i got to play it at gen con and we had so much fun oh, playing that game i love that I, love, I miss that game. Yeah. I remember playing that so much when I was a kid. And also the, um, what was it? The Dream Phone or whatever? Yeah. You remember dream that date? one? Yeah, was it Dream Day? I think so. With the phone? Yeah. <laughs> oh, so silly. 
you want to play a real bad game, play Buffy on DS. What? I think I did play that back in the day. Don't have that game anymore. I do have a Buffy board game. I've never opened it, but I have it. I also have a Buffy board game I've never opened. Aww. Look at us. Twinsies. <laughs> the guy gave it to me for like a really low price, and it was like, uh, they're like, no, it's super hard. <laughs> so I just never opened it. I was like, Ugh. Yeah. It was one of those, I'm know. like, I need a group of people who care about this. But I, I had to have it, apparently. Yeah. Did I, though? Well, there's a new Buffy board game, too, I want to play. It has, like, there's, like, four characters that you play as. I don't remember what happens, but I almost buy it every time I'm in the store. Yeah. But, get, yeah, there's only two of us right here, so I have to wait till friends come over. Yeah. Well, what are you guys uh, reading or doing? We, we need to know. What's up? <laughs> What's happening? Uh, should we go through our schedule midway? Should we do that oh, at the end? Yeah. Uh, let's talk about it now. Um, can you post it on Twitter? Oh, yeah. Can you post it yeah. Um, so, uh, our schedule will be a little wonky, just a little bit. Uh, Kristen's out of town this coming weekend. So, we are going to do. What are they? Uh, our next show is on... Where'd it go? Why'd I do this? What? Tuesday. Yes. This coming Tuesday. Yes. And that's 6 p.m. Eastern, right? Yeah. So we're going to be back here on this channel, 6 p.m. Eastern, uh, talking about Rugrats. That's all right. This Rugrats, one. the last token. We're giving ourselves the easy books because I'm... Uh, Chris is starting a new job and I have to plan a whole event. So we got things going on. Um, and then we'll be back again doing our continuing one piece um, on the 27th, but we'll do a nighttime show. Also 6 p.m. Eastern. Did, we, did you say that? Maybe you said that. I didn't. Okay. I am posting that on Twitter. Uh, yeah. Did you all, did you see this too? Oh yeah. Oh it my God. It looks so cool. Because, yeah, um, yeah, I guess Rebel by Design didn't know. Yeah, she posted the cover, and it looks like it's going to be kind of a multiverse thing, but it's Jessica Jones kind of, like, meeting and dealing with, like, all of the other versions of her that there have that been. So, like, you have, like, your modern Jessica Jones, and you have all these other kind of iterations. Um, it looks really cool. I know some people are tired of multiverse things. I don't care. I'm not. Like... <laughs> I'm with you. I want all the girls to have multiverse stories too. <laughs> you know? It's fun. So I'm about it. Ooh, good pick, Rose Gray. Rose Gray's reading Superman versus the Clan. Always fantastic. Uh, Roberto's reading X Men Mutant Massacre Omnibus. Very cool. Very I'm cool. excited to read some X Men this year. Um, <clears throat> Oh, uh, James says, now is a good time to talk about the adorable Buffy and Willow cat stickers. You're right. And I have those right by me. Thank you so much, James. Um, you can go to readchancellor.storenv.com if you want a sticker pack. These are great. Read, um, put them together. Here's Willow. Aww. All of the proceeds. It's a good price for three stickers. And all of the uh, proceeds go to our vet bills because we have so many right now. So we are selling stickers. <laughs> there's Buffy. And then there's another Willow one. That says, I'm loafing you so much. So cute. So you can get those there if you want to help with vet bills. Because we have so many vet bills. <laughs> Willow's going every week right now. Yay. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh no, Rebel got poked in the eye today. Oh. I hope it no. was for a reason. <laughs> 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 what podcast do you listen to? Yeah, we got to know. Oh. Before you go, what is your uh, top two ongoing manga and two finished manga? Ooh. Thank you for the good question. I'm looking over at my manga. Uh, my top, one of my top ongoings is Witch Hat Atelier. It's a great one. Um, and, ooh. Mm, mm, mm. I want to say Amanda's cat, but that's not. It's it's ongoing, yeah. Okay, 
Yeah. Uh, finish manga. This is hard. Um, oh, no. What am I saying? Sorry, it's top two ongoing. So, which I tell you in One Piece. There you go. Uh, to finish manga. Now, this is hard because I don't make, like, a ranking. So, I'm, I'm trying to think of what's happening right now. Because, like, to, if I was to say top finish manga of all time, I mean, monster. But, like, you've heard that. Um, I'm really digging Sweat and Soap right now, and that's finished. So, I want to read all of that. Um... Mm. It's a tough question. Yeah, that's tough. Uh, I guess I, have to, I guess I do have to say monster, don't I? I think you may have to. Yeah, I'll say monster. Um, okay, top two ongoing for me. Yeah, a man and his cat would absolutely be one. Um, if you know, it's that's the thing. I don't know if that's finished in Japan or not. I just know that's ongoing for here, so that's what I'm going by because I have no idea. Um, and probably a tropical fish yearns for snow because I love that nonsense. And every time it comes out, like I get the volume and I read it immediately. So I know that like, I love it. Uh, finish. Yeah. Monster would be one for me. And so hard, you know, the walking cat, I know maybe it's recency biased, but I love that book so much. So <laughs> I'm going to go with it. Um, uh, I read Bear by Ben Queen and Forever Home by Jenna. Both are really good. Bear is so good. Yeah, that's a great one. Um, do, 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 do. I was listening to My Dad Wrote a Porno and also Cerebrocast. I heard good things about Cerebrocast. Man, I can't talk. Yeah, now that I finished Archive 81, I need to find another audio drama podcast. But I listen to a lot of true crime and cocktails because I love those two women so much. I just listened to their, they did an episode on The Wrestler China and about Brooklyn Heart. Oh, wow. I really, I, I'm going to write that down. I'm going to write that down every time you say it. So hopefully one day I look at these notes and, and Once I'm you like, start. I should really, I should really re listen to that. Yeah. Oh, nice. Just got an extension to my bookshelf so now I can finally display my whole collection at one place once again. What a feeling. Oh, well, well done. That's always the best. I'm in the process of kind of going through mine. Well, one, I need to make money, so I'm selling some books, which makes me a little sad. Um, but I'm also it's also good because I can kind of like reorganize things a little bit, which makes it look, feel fresh and kind of trying to yeah. revisit some books and really making myself feel like, okay, do I need this? no <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm doing that too like i'm picking things and i'm like okay this has been sitting there how long if i haven't read it yet it's like i'm just gonna get rid of it, it or if i've read it and i'm like okay i really like that am i ever gonna reread that because if not why am i keeping it i don't have all the room in the world you know yeah so I'm, I'm keeping it just to like lend to people because i'm like you can't read that's a reason to keep it though you know yeah uh, uh, I don't listen to many podcasts except Lore and Bailey. I don't know what that name is. I want to check. I want to check out that Orphan Black drama one though. Ooh, I bet that's good. I still need to finish Orphan Black. I never watched the last season, and all my friends who also watched Orphan Black have not watched the last season. It's like everyone just collectively forgot. Interesting. Um, Cerebro is brilliant, hilarious. X Men deep dives with diverse takes on the characters. I might add that to the list. Yeah, I'm going to write that down, too. That sounds good. Well, uh, that China podcast is very heartbreaking. And the Cerebro show about uh, Laura X-23 was really good. Oof. Well, I love her. Yeah. Well. That'll be a good one. Well, um, you know, I know you got a lot going on this month. Yeah. Are you just reading for your shows? What what else yeah. is coming up on Old Reader, New Reader? Plug that. That's a good question. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, so Tuesday. So back to back, you can have us here. And then me again, Old Reader, New Reader. Um, <laughs> we're doing Wicked Divine. Oh, fun. Yeah. Uh, the week after, as I've decided at the beginning of the show, uh, you will be joining me for the Moon Knight book. <laughs> right, right. Uh, and for the Patreon pick, I, I still need to put it out because I'm kind of like, I'm, I'm still not sure on what I want, but I was thinking 
it'd be fun to pick different like uh famous weddings in comics and have people vote for that mm. to read because you know <laughs> yeah. having one um but i don't know because that's also hard too because you have to read all the stuff that goes into the wedding right because you've got like right bat cat you've got uh kitty brought in colossus which didn't happen uh <laughs> but i could do like mr mrs x or something but i just did a valentine's day one last yeah month so i don't know if anybody's need recommendations but trying to get something that's shorter and accessible um but i just i don't know maybe a, maybe i should choose a dc something well we know you love jean gray so you should definitely read <laughs> her wedding no no no, <laughs> that's, that's just no um <laughs> hmm yeah i don't know yeah that's where we're at right now cool sounds good what about you what what shows you gonna be on this except for today with your dad yeah apparently Love that. it too yeah um what do i have coming up i don't know just you uh jess and i will be back in two weeks doing something probably so there's that um yeah i guess i'm going on old reader new reader on the 22nd surprise <laughs> a surprise to me but as far as reading, I've been really just bad at focusing on it. You know, there's a lot of stuff I want to pick up that's in my room that I'm like, I should read this. Uh, Elliot said Kristen's dad on the show when? On this show? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I can't imagine that. <laughs> Man, I would die if I could get my mom to read a book and be on a show and talk about it. It would be so good she would never though i'm so sure. envious because like I mean, my mom's an avid reader we like our ideal it's like going to the bookstore together buying a book and going chilling and reading but like that kind of stuff no i mean what kind of stuff does she read now i'm curious um a lot of stuff she likes romance she likes mysteries um mm -hmm. she'll read all sorts of stuff that's cool she's pretty open because we used to go to books a million yeah like every week and that would be how we would kind of spend time together um that's fun yeah i told her like we want to take a vacation go up to like new england and just go take like stay in a fun town and like just you know get a rent a like a house or whatever and then just go to the bookstore <laughs> i love that uh hayden said elliot on the show wind i don't know i mean he can walk in here anytime yeah tell him Come on, Elliot. Walk in there. Come on, Elliot. Uh, <laughs> when Reed's on. Yeah. That's yeah, we are I supposed think. to do that eventually, right? Yeah. I think it's on the calendar. Oh, yeah. We put it on. I, I forgot about that calendar. It's on our we list, did. I feel like. Did you send me that calendar? Didn't I? I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I know you're supposed to. I don't know if you did. Uh, well, I'll do it again. Well. Yeah. I'll show up when the time is ready. All right. We'll be he waiting. Said, Elliot walking if you don't hate dogs challenge. He's not going to care. He's, <laughs> he's probably being <laughs> comfy right now. Um, well, good show. Yeah. Yeah, maybe one day we'll learn more about Moon Knight. In two we weeks. I hope. Um, Hopefully in two weeks. Yeah. Uh, we'll see you on Tuesday night. Come hang out with yeah. us. We'll be here 6 p.m. Eastern. Yep. All right. Um, see you next time. Uh, check out our sponsor in Stock Trades. Don't forget that uh, Kristen's going live at 2 p.m. Central. 3 p.m. Eastern. Yeah. Yep. Yep. On That's it. Uh, her channel, which is in the description. All Thank right. you. Bye.